make history, the first Latin American assemblyman in Long Beach history. Say hello, Juan. How you doing? Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. Juan, say a few words about you grew up here in Long Beach and you're yep. excited sure, about sure. doing a job for the sure. district. Sure. So I'm a lifelong resident of the district. I went to uh, kindergarten Black Heath, and I uh, went to East School, and all uh, Lido, and I went to middle school. So I graduated from Long Beach High School. Um, lifelong resident of this district, and I want to be here to help you folks here. And it's time that we get the right people in the office, because quite frankly, we, we, we elect the wrong people sometimes, uh, and it's a lot of mismanagement. And the other issue is we got to protect our clean water, uh, the aqua force too, because uh, the city is trying to trap into the aqua force of the city and their, their salt water intrusion, which could be very uh, risky for us. So we've got to protect our clean water and the oil break crisis that we have going on here in Long Beach. Um, 85 lives were saved last year just on our camp, so that's growing epidemic. We need funding resources in our roads and, and, and uh, infrastructure needs to be fixed as well. I mean, uh, our potholes and streets and everything else. So we need uh, more funding and resources for our district. Well, I'll talk about um, how coming to uh, where you grew up, what country you're from, sure, sure. and talk about your family sure. making it here in Long Beach. Sure. So I came here from uh, El Salvador, State of War, in 1981. And uh, we grew up here, and I tell people I was uh, raised here and uh, got educated here. And Long Beach made me the person who I am today. And for that reason, I want to give it back and help out folks. And I'm going to do the right thing for you guys, okay? So remember, September 13th, vote for me, please. Juan Vitas, ladies and gentlemen, September 13th. Thank you. Okay, I'm with Juan Vitas. And Juan, let's start at the very beginning. Sure. You're running for Assembly Member. Talk about the fact that you born, well, grew up, that we, were you a Long Beach guy? Well, I, I, was, I was born. Let's talk sure, about that. Sure, then. Sure, yeah. Let's talk about your history in Long Beach and why Absolutely. this means so much to you. Okay, definitely. So uh, I was actually born in El Salvador. Okay. In 1981, I came here to Long Beach. I landed on the beach of Long Beach. And uh, if you can see the picture, I, I do have a picture of when I was a kid in Long Beach right here. Uh, you can see right here, you can zoom in. I was four years old when I landed on the beach of uh, Long Beach. And, uh, you know, I came here for a better life. Uh, we, my, we were a refugee from escaping a war, a uh, war-torn country that there was a lot of uh, violence, uh, bullets, bombs, and, you know, a, a lot of uh, unfortunate things that used to the war happened. So that, that was my livelihood when, when I was four years old. And I came here um, and uh, I, I went to uh, kindergarten. I went to Blackheath in Long Beach High School. To, I mean, I went to East School. Uh, Lido. I went to Lido and I went to middle school and graduated from Long Beach High School. So I tell people Long Beach is uh, raised me and Long Beach educated me to be the man I am today, which I want to represent the district, uh, District 20. I want to be, I'm a lifelong resident of the district. I've also lived in Island Park. Actually, my, my wife teaches in Island Park. She's a teacher, a special ed teacher for 10 years. And uh, I've uh, lived in Oceanside now for nine years. So. You know, if I'm a lifelong resident of this district and I want to give back, I want to help out. I've had my own business for 13 years, got my own family business. We do digital marketing for attorneys and other, uh, you know, services, uh, professional services as well. And um, look, I just want to do the right thing. And uh, I feel that um, a lot of people mismanage a lot of stuff. As me as a business owner, I'm getting tired of the mismanagement in politics. And uh, I really want to do the right thing um, as a business owner. Um, I know I, I, I could be a good candidate and know what a balance sheet looks like because I know that sometimes uh, we are like the public officials that don't even know what a balance sheet is or have seen the one for the first time. So, and, and the, some of the issues that I'm fighting for is we got to protect our waters. Um, uh, you know, the, uh, the salt water intrusion for our aquifer is really important because I know the city wants to take the uh, water from us and there's other places that they want to intrude our wells and we have to protect our water for clean water and the other things that we're fighting is the infrastructure as well. We need a lot of funding for our roads and other infrastructures 
and the opioid crisis, which is really big uh, right now. I mean, to give you an idea, about 85 people were saved, uh, lives were saved by Narcan last year in Long Beach, just in Long Beach, 85 people. And, um, you know, we gotta fix the railroad, the, uh, the infrastructure of the railroad. We we're always getting late, you know? I mean, people, we're all commuters, you know? So we understand when it sucks when we're running late, so. Um, these are some of the issues that I'm fighting for, and uh, don't forget, September 13th, is come out and vote. Uh, we need change, we need people who know the district. Again, we're a lifelong di resident of this district. Warm, you're out there uh, meeting the residents uh, of the district. Mm -hmm. What are some of the, the big concerns a lot of people have? What, what are some of the, the most important things that people have on their mind that they address with you that uh, uh, are on the, the concern of, of the voters in the district? Well, I mean, the, the common consensus that I'm getting from uh, speaking to a lot of voters is that they're getting tired of the corruption. I mean, that's number one. It's, uh, but I, I like to say it's the mismanagement because it's, uh, like I said, it's, they may be doing, a, if there's corruption, then everybody would be arrested, right? I mean, our governments, our laws are set up that way. Um, so uh, we have to say that it's, it's mismanaged, and uh, I think there's a lot of mistakes that are being done, and we have people that we need experience. Uh, now, I, I sat on several uh, board of directors. I sat on the uh, board of directors of the American Heart Association, and I have sat on the board of directors of uh, Beth Page Federal Credit Union. So I have a lot of experience in, uh, being on the boardroom, handling management, and also my own business and running my own business. So, and I, I feel that if, uh, being a pop, uh, uh, public official, you have to have to set a budget and uh, and and, and it's, it serves the public, you know. So, and let's say you do get elected. Yeah. What are some of the things um, that you want to address uh, when you get into assembly? What are some of the things that you say? You know what? When I'm the assemblyman. I want to make these changes. So what are the things on the top of your list? I mean, the, the, the first thing on top of my list that I want is accessibility. I would love to have my office on the main road so it could be wheelchair accessible, you know, uh, for people who have disabilities, you know. I don't want to hide. Some of these uh, people's offices, they hide on the second floor. I want to have them at the store level. I mean, and, and be a true public servant and help people and uh, any issues that I can help out, so. You know, one of my all-time favorite people in Long Beach is the great Harvey Wiesenberg. Uh, he uh, probably held this office longer than anyone, uh, had a great run, and he's beloved in Long Beach. Um, talk about uh, his legacy and, uh, and if you have the support of, of uh, the great Harvey Wiesenberg moving forward. Uh, yes, Harvey is a legend. Everybody that I speak to uh, loves Harvey's. Actually, what's wonderful when you're knocking on doors and they're, they're telling you, the voters are telling you about stories about Harvey. I'm like, wow, Harvey was just a, a man, this man, you know what I mean? Uh, there was one story that, um, you know, the, Harvey was just a tough guy. You know, he was a police officer. Uh, and, uh, and, and thank you for the first responders. I would like to thank all the first responders uh, in, in, in the whole state, the whole, the whole uh, district, because first responders are very important to us. To me, I always thank people in uniform because uh, I, I never take it for granted being in this country, and I count my blessings every day. So thank you very much for the first responders. I'm there to support you guys, uh, and uh, like Harvey always did. Um, and Harvey has big shoes. I have big shoes to fill for Harvey. I mean, 25 years, over 25 years in the assembly. The man is great. Uh, he's a great mentor, a great guru. Um, he's, he's, he's the man. I can't say anything more than nice. And, and, and don't forget, Harvey um, led the, uh, the charge for the uh, people with disabilities because his son, you know, yeah. he, he, he was a big advocate of people with disabilities that they want to find a chance. And I want to continue that as well. And, and I want to say something here. In my administration, I will hire somebody with disabilities, okay, to show and prove that my administration will be as diverse and inclusive with everybody, you know, and what I mean about diverse, I also mean people with disabilities as well. That's really important to have them in, in, in my administration. That's extremely admirable. Now, some people might, might not be aware of it. How widespread is the district? So. Um, like where have you been campaigning? So I know it's more than Long Beach. Oh yeah, it's, uh, so my district is Long Beach, Island Park, Oceanside, uh, uh, the parts of East Rockaway, um, Hewlett, Lawrence, Inwood, Woodmere, Cedarhurst, uh, and the five towns, Atlantic Beach, and Point Lookout. So it's a pretty big district. So uh, 
I've been uh, walking the entire district and knocking on doors. Yeah, I mean, I lost, uh, if you want to lose weight, run for public office because I lost about 20 pounds and uh, you know, I got a good tan. You can see how dark I am because I'm out there knocking every day. Um, but it's a, it's a wonderful joy. I would say, you know, it's really, really a joy talking to folks and meeting new folks and getting out there. It's just, a, it's, I love it. You know, I'm having the time of my life. Now, you know, a big thing about politics is community. Talk about the fact that um, Latino, there's a huge Latino population in Long Beach, of yeah. five towns, mm -hmm. and the fact that you can speak uh, several languages and you yeah. can speak to the voters in Spanish and English, how much of an advantage is that? And um, do you feel, I want, if you do get elected, is reaching out to the Latino community uh, very important to you? Uh, yeah, so it's it's important to have include all the communities because um, and, and and having the barriers with language and building those bridges, you know, with communication. The fact that I you know I understand Spanish and speak Spanish fluently will help me communicate communicate those bridges because quite often um, people you know they don't understand each other or there's a lack of communication um, and and that's what's going on with this country. We're we're really getting divided. We should go back in the middle. We should just come back and let's come together. And we need to start communication. Communication is key in getting things done. And let's end this politics and let's get back to business. Let's, let's just work together and let's be in the center. I mean, I'm sure that we can agree on certain things. You know, We don't have to all disagree, but let's just work on one thing and start with the basics. Good, and I'm sure you know, immigration has been uh, brought up. Yeah. Talk about the fact how important it is um, and how concerned some people have actually maybe even scared to death of being deported mm -hmm. under today's climate. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, when I came to this country, I was very uh, fortunate that the laws wasn't as strict as, as they are right now. I mean, you see the families separating. I, I told my mom the other day that, um, I mean, I, to, the, to see these kids go to separate the families is a shame. If, and my mom said to me she wouldn't want to even think about that if that happened to me and us. When I was when we were you know here coming over to this country, um, it's really sad. Um, I think that's important, and I think we need to uh, change our laws in other ways to protect families. You know, protect those kids uh, because no family should not be separated from kids. That's number one. Um, and I know that our immigration laws need to be fixed. Um, so uh, you know, it, it, you have to be compassionate to families. I think because at the end of the day, we're all human beings. And we got to treat each other like human beings and not animals. We're not all animals. We're human beings. Let's treat each other with love and respect. Let's respect one another. And that's it. Okay. Juan Venus, thank you so thank much. You. And we wish you good thank luck. You. September 13th is thank only a uh, few yeah. weeks away. So um, good luck in, uh, <laughs> in the, uh, in the upcoming uh, election. Thank you. Thank you.